This assassin unzipped his shirt, inside were spoons glittering brightly. Wherever Jack went, the spoon killer followed him. All the while banging spoons against Jack continuously, the blows left Jack's body full of wounds. That day Jack was walking down the street, when suddenly he was attacked in the head. Looking back, it was actually a weird person with flour smeared all over his face. The weirdo was staring sinisterly at him. Jack was so scared he turned and ran. The weirdo chased right after. Hitting him with spoons all the while, appearing everywhere at any time to strike him. Jack wanted to call the police, but the weirdo cut his phone line. He told his wife a psycho was hitting him with spoons. But his wife thought he had delusional paranoia. She even took out a spoon in front of him. Jack yelled in terror for his wife to get out. Afterwards he went to the hospital, but the doctor asked if he had self-harming tendencies. Jack was driven mad, he held a knife to the weirdo's neck. Yet the weirdo was totally unharmed. Just then Jack saw a mark on the man's hand. He traveled far and wide to ask a shaman what it meant. He learned it was an ancient curse. It wouldn't stop attacking until the cursed person died. Jack decided to save himself. He escaped to Egypt. He escaped to ancient Rome. He escaped to Antarctica. He escaped all over the world. But the weirdo still followed him every second. Jack really couldn't take it. He took out a saw to cut him. But in the end, only Jack was harmed. Now Jack was determined to go all out against the monster. He spent his life savings on all kinds of guns. Blasting away at the weirdo one by one. Finally in one place. The weirdo spoon was battered broken. Seeing this, a light of victory began to shine in Jack's eyes. However, 